Hello and welcome to this short Scratch tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to add a score and how to add a timer into a simple game just to make the game a little bit more fun and a little bit more competitive. So I've got my game here. In a previous video I showed you how to uh, create this game but now you can see I've got a score and a timer and when I click the green flag music starts playing and I can start chasing the, the bugs you see I get a point every time I catch them. And the time is going. Seven, six, five, three, two, zero. And then it gets to zero and you can see my score. So like I said, it's a way of just making a game a little bit more fun and a little bit more competitive. And um, it's very, very easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to go about that. So first of all, we're going to add the, the score. So the first thing you need to do when you're adding a score, you need to go over here to variables and you're going to click make a variable score. OK. Oh. OK, OK. Oh, yeah. So I, there you go. Click it already and it made score. OK. Now, then what you're going to do is when the game begins right at the beginning, you're going to set the score to zero. So that at the beginning of each game, when you click the green flag, the score goes straight to zero. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to code the characters so that when they get caught, they add a point. So here we have change. So I'm going to put that in right there. Change score by one. And of course, if you wanted to give them a, a bigger score, you could be changed by uh, you know, two or three or five or ten or twenty. OK, it's up to you however you want to do it change uh, score score by one good and for the hippo as well change score by one okay and you click on you click on it here you see and then you'll see that it appears at the top bit there okay we're going to click okay, and we start off Whoa. 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 You see, every time I get, every time I hit the uh, character, Whoa. the score increases. So now I've already added the score. Now the next thing to add is the timer, and that will make it, you know, kind of give you a challenge with the game. Okay. So again, we click on make a variable, and you can call it timer or clock, whatever you like. Okay, and I'm going to bring out a new flag for this one because I want to have all the code on this together. So I've got a new flag there, and. OK, and when the game begins, I'm going to set the timer. Set the timer. Let's set it to 30 seconds. We'll make it a 30 second game. 30. OK, but then after that. Forever. OK, uh, we're going to say wait a second. The good thing is we have it here, you see, see, wait a second. Forever, wait a second, and if, after every single second, we're going to change the timer. Make sure you change that to timer by minus one. Okay, and then that will have your timer counting down. So let's just click that works. 29, 28, 27. Yep, timer is working properly. Now, what we have to do is make sure that when we get to zero, the game stops. Okay, so we're going to add and if function that if is less than okay and i'm going to go back to our variables and we're going to take the timer and finally the events sorry stop all okay so you can see what i've done there uh wait one second every time after one second the timer will reduce by one so it'll count down from 30 29 28 so on and so forth and then i've told it if the timer if the number on the timer is less than one then stop everything okay so i'm just going to do a test run of this just make it 10 seconds for now okay so here we go let's see how this works so there you go i'm getting my Whoa. scores seven oh it's very fast this one Whoa. 
There you go. And when the timer hits zero, it's game over. I only managed to get five points. So I'd suggest you, you know, set the timer to 30 seconds, or if it's a more difficult game, maybe 60 seconds. Um, but you can see that's, you know, a really easy way, some easy code there, but it really makes a big difference. It makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, presentation, this Scratch tutorial. If you have, please check out our other Scratch tutorials. And also, please remember to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.